Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for the 26th, the 26th, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. This reading may not be for the 26th, it may not be for you, let's just see what comes up. Got my hair pushed back because it was curled this morning, but it's not anymore because I had my windows down in my car and I kept running my hands through my hair and here we are. So anyhow, um, so yeah, so what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? If my friend Michelle is watching this, you need a new phone, just thought I'd let you know. Anyhow, um, what do we have for our message today? I have two cards that fell out. I'm just going to see what else I can get here before I go any further. High Priestess. Okay, so we got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Swords and the High Priestess. So Knight of Pentacles or King of... Queen of Pentacles reversed. We also have Ten of Cups on the bottom, which is a happy relationship. It's happiness. It's happy family. Um, emotional fulfillment. High Priestess is keeping something to themselves. We may have somebody here that is keeping something, keeping a secret, you know, observing, going within, uh, focusing on themselves. High Priestess is typically very independent, self-sufficient, um, reflective reflective knight of swords there's somebody that is headed towards this high priestess the knight of swords is looking right at the high priestess so this is this is like oh we got a savior here take a look at that this is somebody that is coming in to save somebody okay this person is all tied up by the looks of things they're they're in a situation where they're waiting they're waiting for a savior they're waiting to waiting for somebody to come along here here they come so somebody is is coming in they're coming in out of nowhere queen of pentacles reversed before that knight of swords that's insecure um knight of our why do i keep on saying knight I keep on wanting to say Knight of Pentacles. So that's slow. But then it goes, something's about to speed up because the, the, the Knight of Swords is speedy. You know, this is speedy. Speedy Gonzalez, right? It is. This is speedy. Something happening in a hurry. Headed right towards the High Priestess. Speeding towards the High Priestess. High Priestess is a spiritual individual, could be a medium, could be a psychic, could be a tarot reader, could be somebody that is very reserved, chooses to be single sometimes. The High Priestess this is a spiritual individual, maybe an empath. There is an arrival here. Somebody is arriving. But the Queen of Pentacles reversed is typically uh, suspicious, um, unrealistic not practical, unplanned. What the hell is this Queen of Pentacles reversed? I need another card for that. What is this Queen of Pentacles reversed? There's stubbornness here. Hangman, thinking. Think, I wanted to clarify that. So this is somebody that is struggling to let go of something. They're struggling, struggling with some sort of perception they may think that they're not good enough, they're not adequate, they're unstable, maybe mentally unstable, maybe they're not thinking clearly. Stubbornness in both of these cards, we have somebody here that is very stubborn. They're hanging on to something, they may be waiting for something. Struggling, struggling, sacrificing themselves, not being practical, trying to hold on to something, not being practical. The, key, the Queen of Pentacles reverses, not being practical. Hangman is, is sacrificing. Sa somebody is sacrificing themselves. They're, they may be wasting time not being practical. Lack of self-value, lack of self-worth. Try, 
Hmm. We got somebody here that needs a new perspective. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a lack of self-worth. I mean, because that's the Queen of Value. Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Value in reverse. It's not knowing value, not not knowing value, not knowing the worth. Somebody may not know their value. They may not know their worth. They they're wasting their time hanging on to something. The hangman, the hangman is is uh, stubbornness. It's hanging on. It's wasting time. Not being practical. Needing a new perspective, perspective, refusing to look at things from a new perspective. Mm, somebody could also be holding, I don't know if there's a Pisces here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Pisces. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have somebody here that's coming in to save somebody. It looks like this is a desperate situation to me. This is a warrior that's coming in. This is somebody that is protective. They're on a mission. Maybe they've been sent. Maybe they've been sent to rescue somebody. You know, they've sent, they've been sent by somebody. It's coming to the rescue. Somebody's coming to the rescue. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. This is somebody that knows what they want. They're, they are... They're making an arrival. This is somebody that is coming to, you know, in the nick of time by the looks of things. They're coming in the nick of time. Three of pentacles reversed. Three of pentacles reversed is lack of togetherness, lack of cooperation. Somebody may be involved in a third party situation where they're not getting any respect or they don't work well with somebody. You know, there's they don't see they're not on the same page. There's there's a, a lack of cooperation, lack of communication. We have somebody here that is holding on to. I don't. It feels like it's a situation. They're holding on to a situation where there ain't no respect, where there's no togetherness, there's no teamwork. Maybe there's a third party involved. not being practical we definitely have somebody here that's not being practical at all they are refusing to let go of something that isn't bringing them any respect okay they're dealing with somebody that isn't isn't it's not paying off Whoever they're dealing with isn't nurturing them, perhaps, isn't working well with them. It's not practical. But there is an arrival here. This is, there's an arrival. We have somebody here that is arriving, you know, in the nick of time. The high priestess right around the corner. This may be something that you sensed was coming. Well, the high priestess is a spiritual individual who is very observant, quiet, reflective. Um, the Hierophant, I was going to clarify the High Priestess, high intuition, very intuitive. We have somebody here that is extremely intuitive, has a direct connection to divine, to the source, uh, to God. There's a higher power here. And I said, there's somebody that is bringing somebody in. The Hierophant is a godly energy. That's a higher, there's a higher power involved here that is guiding somebody. Somebody is going to be receiving some assistance or something like that. There's some sort of guidance here. There's a teacher even. Guidance. Believe. Somebody, somebody's about to believe something. This may be hard to believe, but anyhow... Hierophant is, um, I don't know, we may have a channeler here with the high priestess in the Hierophant. Somebody has a direct connection to God. We could be dealing with a Taurus. I think I already said that. We have Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of teamwork. Uh, we have somebody here that is in a situation, looks like it's a desperate situation. There's going to be, 
somebody is coming to save the day, right? This is a knight in shining armor. I mean, it is. We have at least one very spiritual individual here, extremely spiritual, divinely guided, definitely. Do. This is a divinely guided arrival, put it that way. Empress. Mm. Empress is the birth of a new life. It is. And now we got the Knight of Pentacles. I knew I kept seeing the Knight of Pentacles. The Empress. This is this is the birth of a new life. This is a goddess. This is the goddess of love. This is the queen of all queens. This is the birth. This is love. This is an abundance of love. This is the pick. This is the pick of the litter, right? It is. Um, somebody is about to receive a blessing. That is a blessing. It's a miracle. It is a miracle. When the Empress gives birth, you know, it's a miracle. It is. There could be news of a pregnancy as well. It's delivery time. It's time. For, obviously, it is. You can see that it's time. You can. You can see that it's time. It is definitely time. It's time. It's time to receive. It's time to receive your blessing. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Taurus here a couple times. We have Libra. Um, somebody is about to, uh, there could be some news that is coming as well. This may be a shock. The Knight of Swords can be a shock. It's, it can be definitely a surprise. You may not have expected it. You may have thought that nobody was ever coming to save you, you know, in this situation. You may have thought, you know, here they are. Here they are, okay? This is a savior. The Empress. The Empress is a birth. We have a domestic goddess here that is very, very spiritual by the looks of things with the High Priestess and the Hierophant. There's commitment here. The Hierophant is about commitment and marriage. Somebody may be committing themselves to something. Their intuition may be guiding them or they're receiving some spiritual guidance from another person. It could be a tarot reader, whatever. I'm not going to go through it or over it again. But whoever, somebody may be giving somebody some advice. It's it's very divinely guided. There's a divinely guided arrival here. The Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody that is solid, that is stable, that is real, that is very intelligent as well. Hardworking. Building financial stability. Somebody may be building financial stability. They may be receiving a very solid offer that they totally do not expect. This is unexpected. It is absolutely unexpected. But with the high priestess right around the corner, that is intuitive. It is, there's this, if there's intuition, there's, there's some sort of observation that is needed also to follow your gut, follow your intuition. Somebody's going to need to follow their intuition. They're going to be receiving, it's like somebody arrives and there's, this is like, I don't know, maybe it's a divine connection. High Priestess and the Hierophant are a very good team. Okay, it's a very good team. Um, Empress gives birth to a new life whenever it's time. Obviously it's time. Somebody's about to receive a, a true blessing. This is, a, this is love. It's an abundance of love. Maybe even wealth as well. It's unplanned. It comes out of nowhere. Because, you know, that empress gives birth whenever it's time. You don't never know. It just happens when it happens. And that knight of swords it just happens when it happens. It's just, you know, it happens when it happens. It's about to happen. Something's time. Anyhow, knight of pentacles. This is somebody that is a planner. So it's interesting because the Knight of Swords can be a planner too. This is somebody that is very strategic that has earned their title. This is somebody that um, has already been in some sort of battle and is, has learned some sort of life experience through their previous battles. They've been sent on a mission and here they are. This is like a mission. This is very sudden. There's a sudden arrival here. There is. A, there could even be a sudden pregnancy for some of you. I mean, I don't know. It could be an unplanned pregnancy, but whatever. There could also be a delivery. Somebody could be given birth. But anyhow, there is a new rebirth here. There's a rebirth. This is, this is the beginning of a new life. That's what the Empress does. She gives birth to a new life. She can grow anything. She is a mother. 
okay? She's a mother. She is the mother, okay? She does everything with love. We may have somebody here that has been alone. Like I said, the high priestess is right next to the empress. The high priestess typically chooses to be alone. She chooses to be alone. She's focusing on her spiritual growth. You know, she may be a spiritual teacher, whatever. Uh, she uh, believes in higher power, but there's some sort of divine guidance here that is guiding somebody in. Put it that way. It is totally unplanned. Somebody's value is going to be tested as well because the Knight of Pentacles is about value. Whenever you get the King, Queen, Knight, or Page of Pentacles, it's about value. Somebody's going to be tested. And I feel like we have an arrival here that comes out of nowhere and there's a need to be realistic. There's a need to be practical. There's a need to also move slow. You know, the Knight of Pentacles moves slow, but the Knight of, Knight of Swords does not. fortune reverse now this is bad timing there could be bad timing there could be something coming back around you know the night of the wheel of fortune reverse can be something coming back okay it could be something coming back this is there's also setbacks here as well there's been a delay there's been a delay in this arrival something there's, there's probably an unfortunate loss here I mean, typically the Wheel of Fortune is an unfortunate loss, so a loss of somebody didn't cooperate, they, they didn't listen, they didn't listen to advice, they were struggling with change, maybe that's the unfortunate loss. We have somebody here that's been wasting time, the hangman, okay, the hangman not cooperating, three of pentacles reversed, not communicating not working together, unwilling to listen, un, you know, unwilling to change, unwilling to budge with the hangman, not being practical, not, not uh, being practical with the, with the queen of pentacles reverse, stubborn. Somebody's been stubborn. They've been, they've been thinking, they've been thinking, they've been not taking any action. Probably trying, maybe they were trying to teach somebody a lesson or something. They were trying to prove a point or something like that. They're about to have a horrendous loss they are. And it's interesting because in this card, we have a man down here in the pit. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but down here in the, down here in the pit, we have a man that is down. Okay? It looks like it's too late. It's too late for this man or whoever it is. Because there's, and I think it's, and this person's been uh, waiting. Okay, this person's been waiting thinking that, you know, they're, they're going to, what's going to happen to me? You know, um, and here comes somebody else to save the day in the nick of time so we have one man or one person that is down you know this person is, it looks like it's too late it's too late it's too late it's too late for that one and that is the horrendous loss the horrendous, horrendous loss the wheel of fortune is right directly underneath that knight of swords so this is unfortunate it's un yes and there's an unfortunate loss here because we have an individual that was trying to prove something or they were struggling with change or they were refusing to let go of something that wasn't working out anyway. Maybe they were holding on to something for financial reasons, for greed, I mean, for greedy reasons. They're about to experience a horrendous loss because I feel like I feel like there's uh, an individual that is about to give birth to a new life. They're about to be saved or, you know, they're about to receive a blessing, right? This is a miracle. It is a miracle. When the Empress gives birth to a miracle. When you hold that blessing in your hands, you absolutely know it's a miracle. So anyhow... Page of Wands, upright. This is good news. It is very good news. 
I wonder if it's somebody, if it's a past connection. So it could be, like I said, somebody from the past or somebody that you have a soulmate connection with. Six of Cups. This is also nostalgia and reawakened memories of love. So. Page of Wands is good news. This is somebody, this is exciting. This is a new direction. This is a, a new endeavor. This is taking a new approach. We definitely have, this is, this is like some, this is very exciting. Somebody's about to receive some sort of offer, invite, or saviors arriving or something like that. This is this is a surprise. It is definitely a surprise. It's very positive. Going in a new positive direction. There could also be news of a child. You know, I just got to throw that out there. There could be a reconciliation here as well. Somebody is being divinely guided to go in a new direction. They, 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 this is exciting. It is definitely exciting. Good news is coming. You may have thought, you may have sensed that it was coming, but you never knew or you, you were unsure. Well, here it is. Whatever is coming, it is definitely exciting. Somebody is coming in, this person is honest, they are blunt, they are direct, they are not scared, they are not fearful. Okay, this is somebody that is battle ready, that has some sort of strong life experience. Tower reversed. Next to that, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Tower reversed is a painful change, perhaps. Next to the Wheel of Fortune reversed, this is a this is a painful change. It is. It is some sort of painful change. It's a painful loss of some sort. Somebody has been holding on to a false sense of security. They have been holding on with the hangman. They haven't been very practical. Well, things are about to change, and I think they're going to change extremely fast. This is sudden extremely sudden boom just like that i'm sorry <laughs> i don't think i've done that in a long time tower that is extreme it's extreme just like that just like that just like what just happened What just happened? Quite a surprise. Somebody is about to receive a news or news. Somebody's about to receive news that completely shocks them. It is good news. It could involve a loss, unfortunately. It could, just being honest. Uh, birth of a new life. May have something to do with a mother and a child. With the empress next to the page of wands. reversed we have somebody here that has been repeating negative mistakes with patterns with the wheel of fortune reversed they have been not very practical they've been holding on to something that there's no respect they don't get any respect they don't get any, there's no togetherness. There's no teamwork. They've been stuck. They've been stuck with the hangman reverse and the wheel of fortune reverse. They've been stuck. They've been really, really, really stuck. It's almost like waiting for something to come back alive, right? If it's dead, it's dead. And it's, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. And uh, they're about to get 
I feel like a rude awakening or what I don't know if it's a rude awakening this is awakening of some sort it, it's a massive change it cannot be avoided okay somebody has been avoiding change which is absolutely 100% clear they've been delaying okay the cycle has been trying to spin the wheel has been trying to spin somebody in a new direction but they have been it's like they've had their foot in the wheel you know not letting it spin uh, not being practical, you know, stubborn, 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 stubborn. But there's a higher power involved here, and there really is. This higher power is guiding somebody in a new direction. They're about to experience a major disruption in their life that cannot be avoided, okay? Because you are meant to go in a new direction, okay? So get prepared, get prepared. This is like being saved, okay? You're about to be saved from this desperate situation that you have gotten yourself into. So, good luck.